Fans filing into the Philwall Stadium ready to see their defending champs. The rain not a problem. June 1st also declared St. Joe Mustangs Day. Top readers in local schools throwing out first pitches. One young man can't get enough of his opportunity. Not missing his chance throwing not one, not two, but three first pitches to the game itself in this one tonight. Brady holding the Mustangs, hosting the Clarinda A's. Savannah native Braden Berry on the bump, just nails in the first inning. Clarinda can't touch it. any of his pitches. Berry striking two of the first three batters out he faces. No score going to the bottom of the frame. Bottom one in this one, Mustangs give Berry some run support. Bases loaded, Rob Butler, base hit the center. Their old Island product makes it one nothing. The Mustangs add two more runs in the inning. It's three nothing after one. Mustangs baseball, you never know what you're gonna get any night of the week. We got the Village people for the YMCA tonight. Guys also getting pied in the face. The Mustangs are back. Braden Berry, really good tonight. Goes five and two thirds innings in this one. Mustangs led 3-1 after six, but Clarinda scoring four runs in the ninth right now. It is five three A's in the top of the ninth inning. Now the next two games for the Seagulls of Mustangs, a day off tomorrow, but they'll be back in action on Friday. They host the Nevada Griffins for two games this week in the Phil Walt Stadium, Friday and Saturday night with first pitch, both nights set for 7 o'clock.